Hello folks, Isaac Weiss here. It's Google Summer of Code week 5. Actually week 6 now, but I'll be uploading this with my week 5 recap blog post. And without further ado, let me show you what I got going on. So I have to redisplay the palettes. This is uh, not due to anything I did, but they don't display the first time usually. So, repeats and jumps over here. We have the one measure repeat. That's the same as before in new score 3 and earlier. But now we also have the two measure repeat and the four measure repeat. Actually, it wasn't quite true when I said the one measure repeat is the same as before. Um, it used to be drawn with this sort of hard coded path parallelogram in two circles, but now it's using a glyph found in the music font. Um, in this case, Emmentaler does not contain this glyph. Only Bravura and Muse Jazz do, so it falls back to Bravura. Uh, I might as well just switch over to Bravura so it looks it looks exactly right. There we go. So that's the one measure repeat, and it's just the same as before. Um, the two measure repeat looks like this. Drop it there, and there it is. So you'll notice it's. Uh, centered on the bar line between the two measures. Both measures are entirely empty otherwise. The whole rest is not displayed. And this up here is the group measures element that holds them together. So it is impossible for these two measures to get separated over a line break. Um, just to make it really clear, if I have these two measures selected and I want to measure repeat, repeat in there, they stay together. Four measure repeat basically the same thing. Um, four measures are all grouped, four measures are all shown as empty, and that's centered right in the middle of them all. Also, if you delete them, um, it takes care of everything at the same time. It restores the measures to show the whole measure rest. It removes the grouping elements just puts everything right back how it was. Oh, very interesting. I discovered some sort of display bug here. I'll have to figure out. Not sure what happened there. Back to normal there. Um, also, of course, uh, if there is any content in the measures that would um, interfere, then it's automatically cleared out. You'll see when I put this there, all nice and empty. Now, there's a limitation currently, which is that this nice deleting and restoring stuff doesn't work with undo. So if I press Command Z, it undoes the addition of the symbol, but it does not restore the measures to their original state. So that's something I'll have to work out about the undo redo system. I probably have to just explicitly state that undoing restores these things and redoing, yeah. This gets us to an unstable state where if I try to add a new one in there, um, I could end up with a crash and stuff, so I won't do that right now. Um, oh, and also, uh, it's impossible to add a repeat measure where there's insufficient space. So this four measure repeat, if I try to add it, only three measures, only three measures left, and I get an error, it only works if there are at least four measures in which to do it. So, that's all for now. See you next time.